guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at my favorite filming spot location because guess what? We have the largest SUV currently available from Toyota. What the heck is it? It's this vehicle right here. This is a 2024 Toyota Sequoia. This one is a TRD Pro Off-Road Sequoia. But before we get into this maximum size, maximum off-road capability of an SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Toyota, they got a lot going on in their lineup. Things when it comes to redesigns, refreshes, and a lot of all new vehicles coming into their lineup. Now, when it comes to the Sequoia, we're talking box frame, body on frame. We're talking about that beefiest of the SUVs. So this is gonna go up against nameplates like the Chevy Tahoe Z71. You're looking at the GMC Yukon AT4. And you're also looking at the Ford Expedition. Now, when it comes to off-road performance, Toyota has been doing the business for so many years, especially when you see those three letters, TRD, Toyota Racing Development. So what I wanna find out is, do you go Chevy Tahoe Z71 or the sister vehicle, the GMC Yukon AT4, or do you go with this Sequoia TRD Off-Road Pro? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this one and find out. Right off the bat, we have an all new TRD Pro color for 2024. This is called Terra. Let me know what you think about it. I'm kind of tiptoeing on the fence, whether I like it or whether I don't like it. But let me know in the comment section, this is TRD Pro specific for 2024. Now at the front of the business, you'll see the elements from that redesign. You'll have your LED headlights, projector beam headlights, LED turn singles, and daytime running lamps. We do have a little bit of functionality on these corner vents. And as we drop down, even more functionality on those lower air curtains, corner air curtains. I actually like the front end of the Sequoia a lot more than the vehicle that it shares the same chassis, that Tundra. Tundra looks good. I think the Sequoia looks better. As we come across that Heritage Grill nameplate, I like the way they added the triple auxiliary yellow LED lighting effect because of the extra width that we have at the front of the business. The Toyota name spelled out, that's part of that Heritage in the gunmetal gray. And you'll notice from the factory, we actually have that rectangular large LED lighting effect built into the grill. So instead of you having to go to a company like Rigid and buying those lights, it already comes wired up, ready to rock and roll on the front of this TRD Pro. Of course, we're gonna have a forward facing camera. My one zonk is we need a washer on the front of that thing. But this is full functionality up top. Working your way down, we have even more functionality and we have LED fog lamps on both sides. Now, underneath the belly of this beast, you do have metal TRD specific skid plates protecting the underside bits, especially things like the oil pan and the gas tank out back. But let me know what you think about the front of this compared to a Yukon AT4 or a Tahoe Z71. And you'll see that lighting. I mean, it's pretty intense in the center here. That's pretty crazy. Now, as we rise up, what do we got going on? You have a bulge, and I like the way it's a V shape rather than just straight lines. But definitely loving the muscular presence of the Sequoia. When we come around the bend, what do we have going on? Well, guess what? You're gonna get some TRD Pro specifics. We have BBS forged aluminum wheels, off-road forged aluminum wheels. We also have our Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires with the shielding all the way around. It's a 33-inch tire, and the overall tire size is 265 on the width and a 65-series sidewall, 18-inch wheel. Love the wheels. You do have that 
camo tech, they call this, design on your fender flares. And then I'm gonna have Steven earn his money today and show you those upper aluminum TRD control arms. That bright red finish there with the TRD name. This actually sits higher, of course, than a standard Sequoia. And the shocks and the suspension bits have to, been tuned specifically for off-roading in this vehicle. Now, I do like the way they do the name badge on the hood, the TRD Pro. I just wish that this was a functional heat extractor. We'll talk about what's underneath that hood in a second. Flat black on your mirror caps on the top. Your turn signals, we do have three 60-degree cameras. And I do think it's very smart the way they put the flat black on the A-pillar. You have that nice, really, you know, off-road spec flat roof with our roof rails. You can get the crossbars, put a basket up there. You have our stationary TRD spec running boards. And I like the way they're powder coated to give you maximum grip getting in and out. And those are removable. And then working towards the rear, you have your door handles, which are color matched and a little bit of gloss black. Like the way they did the flat black with the gloss, just the, just the touches. And then you'll notice that when we come towards the rear, check out what we have, our dual outlet TRD. Actually says it right there on the side, TRD black tip, polished black tip exhaust, catback exhaust to give us some extra sound, some extra performance. Love the way they did the full LED lighting, no light bulbs, no old school light bulbs. And then all the badging is blacked out, your Toyota badge, of course, the Sequoia name, they spell it out for you. And then working our way down to the main level, this cover comes off so you could do your towing. But I really love that dual outlet exhaust. Nice round cut, looks good. And then as we rise back up, you do have the ability to just pop the rear glass. Say you forget something, you could get in and out very easily. I just wish the wiper was tucked underneath that long Roo spoiler. That is the zonk back here. But other than that, looks spectacular. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk about horsepower compared to the competition. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hood struts. Underneath the hood is that performance hybrid spec setup, the iForce Max. That is a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 pumping out 437 horsepower, 583 pound feet of torque. That's more horsepower and more torque than the Tahoe or the Yukon AT4X with their V8 engines. It's mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 6.2 seconds. Top speed is governed to 109 miles per hour. MPGs, 19 in the city, 22 on the highway. The vehicle weighs 6,209 pounds, but can tow up to 9,000 pounds. So nice to see that you don't necessarily have to have that V8. You could go with something like this iForce Max, get more horsepower, more torque, and still have 9,000 pounds towing capability. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire this thing up and hear what that catback exhaust sounds like. Hi right, guys, we are inside this full size. This is not a mid size, this is a full size body on frame. And you got that box frame set up straight from the Tundra underneath this Sequoia. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I want an off road SUV and I'm not freaking messing around. I want full size. I remember my dad used to have a K5 Blazer. Him and I used to go off roading. Sometimes I thought we would never make it home because of how we were using and abusing this thing. I'm liking this Sequoia TRD Pro, but how much is it? Very good question. MSRP for the way this one is optioned with the new Terra color, you're looking at $81,000. Let's see how it stacks up to the competition, to the door panels. I love the materials. The top of the door panel, the way that it's flat to rest your arm, soft touch with the red contrast stitching. You got a little bit of gunmetal 
metallic in the center there. Right underneath that is the TRD Twinkie tray. And then down below, you have enough room for a six inch cold cut combo and two bottles of Mountain Dew to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, you got the Toyota Heritage badge. I love this silver trim, soft touch. And then come on in, what do we have? 14 inch infotainment system. This is Toyota's new multimedia system that we've already shown you in many other vehicles. You could set up, of course, all the data that you need. You could set up driver profiles, it's really intuitive, easy to use, and it has over the air updates. Throw it in reverse. Look how good that backup camera is. 360 cam. You could go ahead and switch. It's almost like working at Circuit City back in the day and showing everybody all the cool Sony handy cams and JVC camcorders. I mean, this thing has more views than some satellites that are currently in space. You could even do the off-road setup to where you got your pitch and your roll. Really, really nice, intuitive, and easy to use. I like that. We're right back where we started. You have a real power and volume knob. We have three stages of ventilated seats, three stages of heated seats, dual climate control with these nice toggle switches, USB-A. You have a TRD off-road start-stop button, trailer control, your 360 degree camera, you can lock the rear axle, wireless cell phone charging, and a place to put two, three musketeers. Love this off-road aluminum style finish. Open it up, two cup holders, you got your mode selector knob, your uh, crawl control, tow haul, and your ability to switch from too high to four high to four low with your four by four system. Here's your Toyota key fob. I wish it was a little beefier. If you, these key fobs from Toyota feel like they're from 1992, where you would go buy like the Cobra alarm and it would make all those video game noises when it went off. So not my favorite. You do have a nice little tray there where you can keep your Koosh ball. Slide that open, now you have easy access. I'm all about easy access. Flip it up, you could put some Aladdin's arcade game tokens in there. Close it up, soft touch material stitching, and get ready for this. Voila, USB-A, USB-C, you got a coin holder, if you're gonna save some change. And then you got enough room in here to where easily you could fit, I would say, 15 to 20 Beanie Babies. And then the seats. The nice soft touch material, the TRD Pro embroidery, the red stitching, nice bolstering, full electric assist for the passenger full electric assist for the driver. And then we have this ginormous, you ready for it? Power shade for our full panoramic sunroof. Got you covered there so you can get your vitamin D, and maybe a little sun in your, your face just to give you a little bit of extra color. And then of course we have our digital rear view mirror. So they have, like I said, the tech and the cameras in this thing are ridiculous. But why don't you come over to the business end? I got a TRD steering wheel I want to show you. Come on over. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this TRD Pro Sequoia. You do have two, actually, I'm holding up three, two memory seat settings, duh, two. Down below, you do have an aluminum brake pedal, aluminum throttle, and I love the nice large dead pedal to brace yourself. It's worth an extra five horsepower for the Sequoia TRD Pro off-road mat, mats. You do have those seat controls, just like on the passenger side, easy to get to. I'm six feet tall, and I just feel like I'm swimming in space in here. Lots of room, even with that panoramic sunroof, steering wheel, leather, perforated leather all the way around. It's got the TRD badge. You got some stitching on there. I just wish the Toyota badge was black to match all the other black accents, but I do like the flat black on the switch gear. Down below, you have this nice little arrangement of buttons, your TRD light bar, heated steering wheel, all those other goodies. It is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then the dash, 12.3 inches display, love the clear graphics. And then of course you could go into your different modes, just like a video game, and really configure it exactly the way that you want. And on top of that, of course you have your full four x four, which the two speed transfer case on this thing is so beefy. 
I can't wait to go off-road. But why don't we go ahead? This thing has three rows. Let's get in the mid row first and see what the backseat passengers are going to experience in this Sequoia. All right, guys, mid row time, and you're going to spoil the hell out of your passengers here in the mid row. There's a ton of room. The seats are ginormous in a very good way. Same material as off up front, the soft techs. You can see the camo tech design coming through with the red stitching. The major zonk is this these ratcheting, skinny, pointless armrests. They're, they need to be a little beefier like the American brands, like the Tahoe and the Yukon. But other than that, you have these nice large pockets, easily put, I would say two full packages of Chips Ahoy cookies. And if you have Chips Ahoy, what you gotta have next are a couple places for some bottles of milk so you could dunk them. And then right here in this command center, you do have your AC vents, AC controls, easy to get to, easy to figure out. More connectivity than Radio Shack ever had. USB-A, USB-C, and a home power source. And I like the little covers. Sitting here, feels great. I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of room. AC vents also in the ceiling. You do have the sun shades, the big zonk, these seats. Don't slide. The good news is you are going to get a little bit of recline. But if you're looking for sliding seats, you're looking in the wrong SUV. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the third row and see what kind of room is back there for the people that are gonna draw the short straw and have to sit back there. All right guys, third row time, and this is where the Sequoia just comes up short. Compared to the other two that we're talking about, the Yukon and the Tahoe, look at how high my knees are. These seats are not very comfortable. They're totally flat, and the material is not as nice as the rest of the vehicle. You do get red stitching, though, so I guess that's a good point. Nice armrest area, but you hear that? It's as hard as a plastic rock. Here is the saving grace. Are you ready for it? And it's not much, but it's better than nothing. You do have a little bit of a recline, but my knees are not reclining anywhere. I do have a USB-C, but I only have one on this side that's easy to get to with a little Twinkie tray. You do have a USB-C, show them, Steven. You do have a USB-C right there for the other passengers, so that's really nice. But thank God we have these electric tilting seats because this would be super painful. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the cargo area because I'm ready to go get this Sequoia dirty and go off-roading. So let's get back to the cargo area and see what we could all. All right, guys, we got the rear lift back open. It's an interesting concept how they give you room back here. Now with that third row up, it's gonna be very minimalistic on the amount of room that you have. You're looking at 12.3 cubic feet of space. Not a lot, especially compared to the competition. One of the cool things is that you actually have this movable level floor here. So you could actually set things up and raise this all the way up to its highest level, which would be right there, or you could bring it back down. So nice to give you that flexibility. Another thing I like is how the third row slides. So if you need just a little bit more room, you can slide the third row up, both sides, of course. So they're giving you some unique touches, but because of the complicated nature of it, it does take up some of that great room. Now to put the third row down, it's very simple. First, we gotta put the headrest down. Now we're just gonna hit the buttons. So we're just gonna hit the buttons. Nice one, one touch operation folding that third row down. The challenge is they won't go totally flat. And what I mean by that is that yes, they're flat, but not flat all the way down. So now when you're looking at this, you're looking at 49 cubic feet of space. The good news is you could do this. So if I go like that, now you almost have a totally flat area here. And this obviously, let me get rid of this. We could do this. Now you have that flat area. Some people love this. I know some people like Joel Fetter, this makes them sick. This makes their stomach hurt. They're offended by this system at the end of the day. Of course, what's also nice is that you are gonna have a home power source. And you do have, like I showed you, the power switch gear. And you do have 
the power switch gear back here to tilt the rear seats. You got your Twinkie storage like I was telling you about. There's your USB-C on the third row, which is nice. And you got AC vents back there. If you fold down the mid row, that's gonna give you about 80 cubic feet of space. But while we go ahead, I know a little Rady's Rides off-road area I wanna take you. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go get this uh, Sequoia TRD Pro a little dirty. All right, guys, we are here at the Rady's Rides off-road course. And what better place to take this 2024 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro to get her down and dirty, very dirty. Now, let me show you how easy it is to get off-roading very quickly. So we're gonna go over to the four x four selector switch. I'm gonna go ahead and push down and put it into 4H. That's gonna illuminate a green 4H on the dash. And then I'm gonna hit the toggle switch to lock that rear diff. Now, the one thing that kind of bums me out that I think is a zonk that when it comes to the drive modes, you don't have any kind of off-road modes. So just something to be aware of. But the good news is, is that we do have, of course, our hill descent control and all the other Toyota tech that comes with that. But why don't we go ahead and take this for a little off-road spin and just see how easy it is to manage the size of this vehicle. I think one of the things you're gonna find is that even though this is a full size SUV, that it really is a piece of cake to navigate with. And that is what is really awesome about the Sequoia, is that she feels very light on her feet, and I like that. It actually feels more nimble than a Tahoe Z71 or a Yukon AT4. Now, I think some of that has to do with overall size and dimensions, but I think other things that have to do with that is that we don't have a V8, a heavy V8 hanging off the nose of this SUV. We have the iForce Max that, like I said, has more power and torque than the V8s in the competition. But as you can see, in this deep sugar sand, makes easy work of it. And I like the way that steering control, I'm not white knuckling it, I'm not freaking out. It just feels really good on where to place this vehicle. And I, I'm not worried. I think that's the biggest part is I'm not worried, especially with having the TRD off-road skid plates underneath to protect everything. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the other toggle switch for our camera view and this is going to help us and obviously we have it out the front we have 360 this is going to help us navigate so that we could see exactly what is in front of us okay guys before we go any further i wanted to just show you some more of the camera views i like the off-road camera setup so we're going to go ahead and activate that you'll notice that we have the camera angles on both sides and i like the way it gives you trajectory everywhere and the resolution is so clear, I could see mosquitoes freaking flying around the camera. Another thing that's really great is that, of course, you're going to have your pitch and your roll displayed for you while we're driving. So really nice to see exactly what is happening underneath when it comes to the ground surface. Now you do have to be a little careful when going into sippy holes because of that lower bumper area. So I'm not gonna go too crazy just because I don't wanna damage that plastic area where the fog lamps are. I think that's one of the things that uh, kind of gets me is that I wish they would have done something with the lower bumper area to give you a better approach and departure angle. But let's go ahead and go on throttle, shall we? On throttle, here we go. 10 speed drops down and we're off. Remember, we have all of that TRD suspension componentry with the shock absorbers, with, of course, the upper control arms, and just love the way that this thing handles this off-road course that we have for you here. Really easy to navigate. 
Yeah! Ride him, cowboy. But as you can see, I mean, just really allows you to feel good behind the wheel. Whoa, yeah! Kicking up the sand. And I'm telling you, this sugar sand can really catch you out and get you buried up to the axles if you're not careful with what you're doing, that's for sure. But just really, there we go. Really, really nice to be able to take you out here and really put this TRD Pro, you know, this vehicle, $81,000, has a beefy price tag, but I think, as you can see, when it comes to what you're getting suspension-wise, and of course, that iForce Max setup just feels really good out here. It really does. Oh, throttle, here we go. Nice. <laughs> Look at this. And like I said, placing this thing is just so easy. So easy. Great visibility out the front. Look at this. Love this trail. Gonna take it easy through the sippy hole. Like I said, there we go. Get her dirty. We're getting her dirty. She loves it too. The whoop section here. Look at this. Nice. Easy uh, pedal modulation, throttle modulation. Brakes feel good. Just all the way around. Really well set up. I think another thing that I'm really loving is just all the elevated materials in here. Um, getting to the massive infotainment system is well within reach. Um, and then you have all the tech, the heated seats, the ventilated seats, the zippy hole time. Here we go. Nice. Nice, nice. And back on our little trail here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I tell you, it's so easy to work the wheel in this thing into the sand pit there we go and like i said this sugar sand can really 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 catch people out but like i said in the sequoia trd pro man piece of freaking cake look at this nice Yeehaw! <laughs> well, I'm hoping that we got enough off-road in for you. What we need to do is, the highway is that way. I want to show you just how nice it is to drive this TRD Pro Sequoia on the asphalt jungle. So let's get to it, guys. We are on the road, and I really wanted to showcase this as well because I think the... Sequoia TRD Pro does a great job getting down the highway. We put it back into two high, very simple. I love where they have the easy access for the 4x4 system. That 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, so clear. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into uh, sport mode, and that's obviously gonna give me all of what the iForce Max has to offer, quicken up the uh, steering feel, the throttle sensitivity, all those goodies. But like I said, I think really what they've done with elevating the interior in the Sequoia with all the technology, the great Toyota multimedia software, the large 14 inch screen, ventilated and heated seats. Uh, yeah, it's lacking when it comes to space compared to other full size SUVs. But I think that uh, if you really, really want something that does the business, both off-road and on-road. For me, it's not like I'm gonna be going to Home Depot and getting sheets of plywood all the time. I think I'll figure out a way to make it happen if I can't make it happen in my Sequoia TRD Pro. But the thing that I like is driving this vehicle on your day-to-day -day routes is gonna be comfortable. The way that you have the dimensions to make the off-road driving easy, it makes on-road driving very easy as well. So that's another thing to think about when uh, 
when looking at the Sequoia TRD Pro. And I, I like the sound. It's got some pumped in sound, but you know what? Not obnoxious at all. And then remember, we do have that TRD catback exhaust that's making some real tunes on the exterior of this vehicle. But I'm hoping that this has been the review that you wanted for this new color, Terra on the Sequoia TRD Pro. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another fun kind of day here on Rady's Rise with this 2024 Sequoia TRD Pro. Let me know what you think. Are you going with this Sequoia or are you gonna go Tahoe or Yukon? Let me know down in the comment section. But of course, we need to thank everybody at Toyota USA for allowing us access to this press fleet vehicle. If you're new to the channel or you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. He's the man with the magic hands around a camera. So show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for being the magician that you are. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.